Previously on Ready to Love. Pack your bags. Oh, hey. I have set you all up with a beautiful spot in the Blue Ridge Mountains. You fancy. When I was sitting at that wine bar across from Tondi, you did not tell me that you were still texting her and calling her. You still straddled the fence. I'm not here to hurt you. I care about you a lot. I'll eventually open up, but right now, I got to do that in baby steps. Got my hands up right now. I'm really feeling like my chances with Reva are really dwindling away. The stronger Tundi gets, the more Reva bags back. You and Tondi need to just go and be together. And I'm just going to leave the picture. I'm finally seeing a different side of you that I haven't seen before. Brent is showing me who he really is. It's coming out of his shell. I'm sick and tired of grown mother not being able to make up their goddamn mind. I'm done. London's just a part of my past. Let me, let me just holler real quick. But, but Wait, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't done talking to you. you want to talk? London interrupts us. I take that as a direct disrespect. Come on, Brent, Brent. Just don't disrespect me, bro. That's all. No, it took me some time to get to the place that you wanted me to be. Oh, but now I'm ready. I'm ready to love. I'll highlight you real quick? Yes. What? I, I, I ain't done talking to you yet, brother. Let me, let me just highlight real quick. But, but I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't done talking you to you yet, talk though, bro. Come on, Brent, Brent. No, bro, that serious, I'm, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm talking, though, bro. I, I know. I just I just came up, and I just asked her a question, bro. Come on now, man. We ain't got to go there, bro. I'm not trying to go there. Okay. Real, real. Just don't disrespect me, bro. That's all. I mean, it's cool. The thing about Brent, right, I'm never going to throw shade on another man. He saw an opportunity, and he seized it. And there's nothing wrong with that. But when it comes to me and Alexis, you got to stay out of our business. It's all good, bro. I've been you got the one it. that hadn't been you got coming it. over, so I'm trying to figure it out. I wouldn't be here talking to you if we didn't have no connection. Yeah, yeah. Everything that I've told you, mm -hmm. I've meant, and yeah. I've stated that, and okay. I state that in front of everybody. OK. That's all I'm saying, and I'm just saying. High five. I'm done with this conversation. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Wow. I'm done. Thank you. Thank you for your time. I'm going to call it a night. I'm to the point where I want to focus my energy on someone who's showing me how they feel, rather than just telling me over and over again. And at this point, it's Brent. Alexis and I are not in a good place. The chemistry's there, but there's a lot of other factors that go into being in a relationship with somebody. Yep. I see what I needed to see. We're still clear. You know? Yeah, I feel the same way. I know for sure that London is in his feelings. He is not happy that there's another man in my bed tonight, and it's not you. And, but I'm happy that we took our time during this journey. Yeah. We didn't jump out there like that for reasons like this. To this cabin trip, you know, I was gonna get some clarity on Reva, but it seemed like everything blew up in my face. Tony's mad at me, Reva's mad at me. Both of the ladies, they're mad at each other. Looking nice. Bring it in. Thank you. Everything is just a disaster right now. Pretty much just wanna see what's on your mind, what's, what's going on. I really kind of had to be true to myself, and I felt like even with you and I initially, I was like, okay. We got some things in common. We're in the same place in life. Let's explore this. But I started to feel like it was being forced. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And if it's like for real and it's organic, it's not going to be forced. Why you ain't communicate that with me? I, Mario, I did. You did not tell that's, me that's that you felt forced. It was starting to feel forced. That's what me. I'm asking. Yeah. Why you ain't communicate that with me? If you keep telling me you're about to show me, bro, then well, I'm, I'm just like, saying. you could have said. I'm like, you know, clearly, if I'm not getting that, you should have known that. Like, you feel like this wall is up, and I'm not giving you everything that others is giving you. It's a reason for that. I don't want to waste any more of my time and nobody else's if the whole point of me being here is to make a connection that wasn't happening. I wasn't wasting your time because I most definitely don't want to waste my time. You came here for one reason and you found it and that's it. It's not deeper than that. I don't feel like I found it. Yeah, no. So that's why I'm um, self-eliminating. Hearing this is like a blow to me now. Reva is done with me. Didn't play my cards right with it. That hurt me. I, I can't even lie. What I tell you down at the fire pit? 
You, you said you felt like if we cross paths outside of the journey, things would be different. It'd be a whole lot different. Okay. You even admitted yourself that you know I'm an actions girl. Like, don't talk my head off. Let me see. Exactly. Let me see what's going on. Why are you looking at me like that? How am I looking at you? I don't know. Because I want what I want, and I know in real life that it don't work that way, but that's just my only child syndrome. We grow and we gravitate to what we want to gravitate to, and I feel like that's what you did, and that's okay. That's what you're here to do. You know, I like to hold your hand. <laughs> this ain't Three's company, bro. It's not. I know it ain't Three's company. Uh, okay. There's no hard feelings. There's no bitterness. I don't want you to think that either. We're adults. It's cool. But who knows what the future holds? I'm not with the shenanigans. Like, I'm here for love. I want someone who strictly wants me and know that he wants me and shows me that he wants me. He didn't do that. So that's that. I'm glad you accepted the invite. I almost did. <laughs> <laughs> but you did. This is you're right. You're right. You're right. I know what we do is not right. But we gotta make it to the top, right? I cannot promise you I will not fight. So Tommy invited us to dinner. It's the first time we've been around each other since the cabin. I know that my connection with Brent has gotten really strong, but my connection with London is now in question. So I decided to put on my snakeskin mini skirt. All right. <laughs> Sexy mama. I kind of wanted to make London jealous in the process. Yeah, my eyes on you. <laughs> you know, this is a group that loves some food now. OK. Hey, 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 Ladies hey, and hey, gentlemen, hey. Hey. my favorite ATL singers all together in one place. <laughs> Since the cabin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we will discuss that. London has been straddling the fence all of this time. I am still done with him, so I'm just going to watch and listen like I'm watching a movie. Y'all know this journey is about absolutely nothing more but finding love. Right. After everything that has happened this past weekend, Reba decided to eliminate herself from this process. I'm not shocked by Reba self-eliminating. I feel like she felt defeated. Hey, what can I say? I mean. Girl, bye. We down to eight people. What's the goal always been? Three quality couples. You know, let's sit down, let's break some bread, reflect, talk about the journey we didn't have. But we make our final decision. Cool with that? Yeah. Cool. All right. Mario, time to talk to me. I will say this. Now that Reba's out of the picture, I do have the opportunity now to put 100% into Tundi. And that'll give me 100% clarity is this the woman that I want to continue my journey with, my life with, outside of this journey. Exactly. You know, so that's where I'm at right now. Exactly. What qualities you want. Right. The expectations that you have. Absolutely. Trust me, young right. brother, that is so important. Right. Ashima, how was the cabin? Um. Don't sugarcoat with me. Well, because I was not at a good place at the time. What do we mean when we say that? Adult <laughs> beverages and my feelings mixed in one bowl. OK. I just want you to be real with OK. You. That was one of the reasons why I had got a little bit more heated. Fortunately, you guys are reviving. Right. What you all have. I mean, she took full accountability, man, and that's all I was looking for. Every relationship will have disagreements and quarrels, and, and that's just part of life. Brent. How you feeling in this whole process? My purpose going to the uh, cabin was to get some clarity. As the weekend came to an end, where did you sleep? <laughs> uh, I, I, I slept in Alexis's room. So you did get some clarity? I would say so. Did she make it to the top of your list? Absolutely. Well, I found out that Alexis actually slept in the bed with Brent. That was extremely disturbing. I don't operate like that. That is absolutely a deal breaker. Alexis, how was the cabin for you? The cabin was a show. The London that I thought I knew, he wasn't at that cabin. I don't know who that was. The bond and energy that we have when we're not around everyone, I didn't see that. I felt like he was just being very, very safe. And I get it. It's not the environment to just beeline for the person that you want to be with. But at the same time, you could have been matching what you've been telling me behind the scenes. I've never told you on the phone that you're number one. You use other words of affirmation. Words of affirmation. Should we go through that? Go through it. Let's air it out. It's a waste of my time. 
Coming up. He had been telling me, it's me and you. The love triangle is what it is. Y'all got some things to sort out. Is this the guy that I want to continue on this journey with? I've never told you on the phone that you're number one. You use other words of affirmation. Words of affirmation? Should we go through that? Go through it. I mean, we, we might as well. Let's air it out. It's a waste of my time. No, well, I mean, I'm sitting here. Alexis was throwing a lot of shade. She was throwing a lot of darts at your boy. Was this just an act for attention? Or what really made you get to this level? She's like a ticking time bomb. I don't know what to expect. I think it was the first time that I realized he was still on the fence because he had been telling me, it's me and you. So that was very disappointing. But I'm glad that it happened because it left space for me to see Brent. So you came into the cabin 100% sure oh, yeah. that you and London were a sure thing? Absolutely. What is it that made you make the decision that you were not a sure thing? It was the moment at the bonfire. So I was just sitting up here talking to the band. Oh, she yeah? claimed you got the remix. When she asked you, you know, you stuttering. He was saying that she was saying that your chemistry and connection is the strongest with her. Brent asked for me to step away, and I'm glad that he did, because I felt like I was going to set it off, literally. Me doing what I did, going after her multiple times, and Devon, I'm surprised he's still answering my phone call right now. In the process of me allowing Alexis to really poke at my emotions caused me to completely turn my back on Devon, who has been my rock throughout this entire journey. We're on this journey to find love, and when you find out the person that you are falling for isn't who you think they are, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot to deal with. Right now, Alexis is going off on London like some type of little third grade child. And I'm looking like, that's boy. I mean, she had three guys that she had to choose from. She eliminated Carrie. Now you got London and Brent you want to play with. Girl, get it together. It's a love triangle mm -hmm. is what it is. Give me your thoughts. I was very disappointed. What about your connection with London? It's definitely weakened. OK. Yeah. I was disappointed in London and his behavior at the fire pit, and I felt that he could have cleared up where he stood a little bit better. And it made me wonder, is this the guy that I want to continue on this journey with? These are two beautiful women, and when I came into this, I came in open-minded and open-hearted. I wasn't playing any games. We had a connection. What was disrespectful is you bringing the Fugazi to the cabin, because you've always told me she makes it too easy for you. I've never stated that. I've never said anything bad about you. Have you ever heard me talk about Alexis to you? No. Emotions and love can be a sickness. It can cause you to say things that you don't really mean. And one thing I've learned, it makes no sense to argue with somebody that's irrational. Y'all need resolution. We are so not there. This week's dates. I only want y'all to spend time with someone who is truly, and I mean truly, meaningful to you. Mario and Tandy, Dan and Ashim, things seem to be reaching clarity. Whether it's good or bad, it's reaching clarity. London, Brent, Lexus, and Divine, y'all got some things to sort out. You really do. But I want all of y'all to really, and I'm talking about really, Get the answers that you're looking for. At the end of this week, choices got to be made. We're down to eight people. What's the goal always been? Three quality couples. This week, instead of the power of being in the hands of the men or the women, the power is now in everybody's hands. One woman and one man's journey will end. And we're going to be down to our final three couples. Let's raise our glasses and toast to being truly ready to love. Ready to love! Wow. Coming up, the definition of what you just described, baby, is called trust issues. I've been trying to tell you it's that. It's not an issue, baby. I don't like to use that word. You need to stop that. I just want to know what's up. It's broad daylight, but I'm sitting in the dark right now. I don't have time for games. So with Tommy calling Nishima out yesterday at dinner, it's kind of, you know, bringing certain things to the forefront. Today we got a gym date set up between Nishima and I. 
I'm gonna use this as a platform by which we can move forward and work on the issues that I've seen um, at this point. Hey. There she is. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Thank you, thank you. Miss Ashima Franklin, who eats all the pork chop sandwiches, decides to fall for a trainer. You ain't gonna stop till you got me in this gym with. Yeah, I had to get you out here one day. But hey, dating people is all about compromise, and I'm all about somebody trying to make me better. So here we are, finally, after him asking me for weeks, we finally made it to the gym. So you want to hold it just like this? This is your Pinot, right? It's like your wine. Right. If your goblet was too big, you would have to hold it with two hands. So think about it like that. Oh, yeah, I need one of these with some wine in it. <laughs> oh, you got it? You like did that? this before, yeah. Acting like you ain't did this before. I don't know if I'm not complaining because he looks so good to me right now, or if I'm not complaining because he's just that good of a trainer. I don't expect you to be this into this, three. Really? Yeah. I'm not into it. I'm Four. just being a good, good. sport. <laughs> and five. Good. All right, go ahead and, and switch. That's what you do. Yeah, all right, get some water. I need a break. Yeah, I know. That's, that's how I schedule it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so listen, so since we in here, in the spirit of, uh, you know, like working out and kind of working through our stuff, on this whole journey thing, I think I've been 100% honest. I've told you uh, where you stand and uh, where we are with that. So I think we, you know, can we just put that behind us? You ain't got to ask me, me about Tony yeah. no more. I just feel like, you know, you feel like I should come in this just 100% trusting. The definition of what you just described, baby, is called trust issues. I've, I've been trying to tell you it's that. It's not an issue, baby. I don't like to use that word. Well, trust concerns, whatever you want to call it. But honey, if you're telling me right here, right now, that your word is that this ain't going to happen outside of here, then I'm going to take you with that word. So I need to hear this, this right now. This ain't going to happen outside of this, but here go whenever you mess up, you will see Miss Franklin. And everybody don't get Miss Franklin. If you wouldn't get Miss Franklin if Ashima didn't care about you. OK. But I ain't got time for none of that is what I'm trying to tell you. So what I'm saying is, you need to stop that, right? And if you want to continue with me, if we're going to talk, if you have a concern, come to me calmly, OK? Is that, is that, can we do that? We can do that. And you promise you're going to do that. We're going to, you're going to come to me calmly, and then we're going to talk it out, right? Mm-hmm. OK. We do have this one snag that's a huge red flag for me, but, you know, to only have one red flag, that's a pretty good sign, in my opinion. But we just got to, we just got to focus on being us. I, I'm country. I'm from the South. I talk loud. I can't help how loud my voice is. I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm you saying... You ain't talking to my mama but, about that. It's not always going to be perfect, but the fact that we were able to talk about it and get past it, it I feel real good about it. I like me some dare. Uh, here, I can't even... You done trapped me. I can't even give you a real hug. After the dinner with Tommy on the rooftop and all that transpired in the cabin, believe it or not, Divine is still talking to your boy, which I'm amazed. I mean, what a phenomenal woman. I wanted to invite Divine out to dinner and really let her know how I feel. So London asked me on a date, and I was debating on if I should go or not because I am still upset with him. At the end of the day, I still question where I stand. But then I decide, I'm gonna hear him out, I'm gonna listen, let me get this chair for you. Thanks. But in the back of my head, I'm already done. I'm already checked out. So hello. Hello. Happy you're still answering my phone call. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you coming out. I'm concerned about, you know, your feelings and all the rest of that stuff. You, you're concerned about my feelings? Mm-hmm. You know, first of all, I wanted to apologize, because obviously, you know, it was a lot of stuff going on. and you know, between Alexis and I and Brent and stuff like that. And, um, you know, you, you really held it together. You showed me something that day that really made me view you in a different way. And what I mean by that is just from a classy standpoint. You know, that was impressive. So how's your headspace right now? I mean, what do you, what all's going on? What's going through your mind? What's, I just want to know what's up. And I never get an answer. It's broad daylight, but I'm sitting in the dark right now. If you've asked me where you stood, at this stage in the game, I know. And I don't have an issue or problem, nor am I afraid to share that with anybody. Any parties involved in this love triangle, square, hexagon, octagon, whatever we're involved in here, I don't have a problem with that. I've been transparent with folks since day one. You're just playing it safe. And that's not fair to anybody. It just looks like you're playing games. And I don't have time for games. I don't know where her heart is at this moment. I'm sitting there, and I am nervous as can be. 
Now it's all about damage control. I haven't slept the past three days, truly thinking about the connection that we had from day one. You know, I never would have thought I would have put myself in this situation. I apologize for the way that I made you feel. Okay. I hear you loud and clear, but I got no reason whatsoever to play games. I got way too much respect for you. And I know leaving you in the dark can cause a lot of issues. I see that now. You know, if I could do it over again, <laughs> then I would understand, you know, what I put you through. And I made a decision. It was my number one. You've been for real, like my ride or die, you know, so, and I know I got some damage control to do. I know that for sure. So how you feeling? You know, my patience has been tested. Um, my temper has been tested. Everything has been tested during yeah. this journey. I invested a lot in this, and I invested a lot in you, you know, and I just wanted to know is, what I'm investing, is it gonna pay off? Like, that's all I wanted from you. I'm for real, like straight up. Really? Yeah. Oh, you just make me wanna choke you sometimes. Oh, you better get up and give me a hug. <laughs> It was really good to see him open up and be honest and peel back those layers so I can get a little bit closer to him. Don't be looking at me like you're not getting a kiss yet. I need to make sure. You're looking at me deep in the eyes like we're going to kiss or something. Mm, I need to see some action. During this entire journey, Devon has been a rock. She's been very, very ladylike and classy through this entire process. I don't know how she puts up with me. You best believe I'm gonna be putting my best foot forward. I appreciate you making your salad my salad. I guess at this point, what mine is yours, right? I would say so. <laughs> mm. Coming up. Somebody got to go. Who is it? I think London playing. He's moving around like a shyster. Next thing you know, he's calling you on three-way. Does Divine know that you're on the line? She does not. She does not. Oh, my gosh. You need to get over Clearly. your pain. So you will get dragged in this moment. Alexis and I are headed to get brunch, get some food, get some drinks. And I want to just kind of see how she's feeling about me. Hey. Hey. What's Look at you. On? Look at you, beautiful. How you doing? I'm so good. I'm so good. You look good. Me too. You smell, smell good, good too. <laughs> mm-hmm. Here, we have a man that is not straddling the fence. He knows exactly what he wants. For me, that's refreshing. I was pleasantly surprised to see how we were kind of drawn to each other mm -hmm. and how things were just flowing just like smooth, like night, like it was yeah. just natural. You know what yeah, I'm saying? It wasn't yeah. any. Very organic. And that mattered to me that you noticed me. You oh, know? I notice you every <laughs> time. So, what was your uh, overall thoughts of this past weekend at the uh, at the cabin? I think uh, we were probably the best part of the trip. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even want to throw it out there I'm like just that. Sad. It was a fire over here. Fire over here. It was a lot here, of fires. You know. But we had but a we... fire, but it was a different kind of flame. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what's up, man. I'm really here for you. I'm really here to make this connection that we already have stronger. Mm -hmm. But let's just be real. Yeah. I'm in second place. I did have a stronger connection with London, right? Yeah. And so that you made me question that. I was done with London after the cabin trip. Brent deserves to know that he's not choice number two. He was the best option this whole time. And I need to show him that. You know, you know it took you a while to like come out for us to really see this other side of Brent. I was like low-key oh. turned on by that. Hey. <laughs> you know. And here we are at the cabin, and I'm upset and disappointed in another man, but you are still here for me as a friend first. The friendship is so important to it's me. It's the most important. It is That's the your foundation. foundation. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm really digging you. It's good to so. hear. You're making me blush. Good. Mm -hmm. You should be blushing. I'm thinking maybe me and you need to take a trip somewhere soon. All right now. <laughs>
dates Mario and I've had have been initiated by him. But this time, I wanted to invite Mario out, especially after all of the shenanigans going on. Kiss you. Hey! <laughs> I set up a pottery date with Mario. I want to do something fun, something different. You know, just get our hands dirty. You know, feeling good about us. You are? I am. Reba's gone. I have Tundi. I feel like, hey, the time I have left, I can give it all to Tundi now. I got more clarity now. Huh? Reba. She felt like our connection was forced, which caught me by surprise, that I never felt the force. Force? Yeah. Force how? I don't know. I never could get a straight answer. But you know, everything happened for a reason. And that's over with. That door is closed now. It is what it is. Right, so, so moving along. We're moving forward. <laughs> moving forward. You know. Whether Reva self-eliminated or not, I was not worried about it. Trust me. Sip, sip. Oh, honey. Thank you. So what did you think about the, uh, the dinner? Oh, Lord. There was so many shenanigans going on there. Alexis was really going in. Yeah, she was, she was. She, she was, was really putting it all out there. Who else do you think will be joining us at the end? I most definitely think Darren and Ashima. I mean, I will pull for a divine in London, but. I don't know. Whoever ends up at the end, they need to match our fly, because, honey, we well, got a genuine thing. nobody going to match our fly. Don't I know it? Let's see, let's see. <laughs> you see us together? I do. I've you been do. seeing us together. Ooh, them eyes, girl, them eyes. You hear my <laughs> Lord have mercy. Yeah. So I got a gift for you, just to show you, you know, how serious I am about this. Now that we got all the distractions out of the way, and Tanya and I have created this rebirth of the journey, I'm feeling even more connected. I feel like our connection is even stronger now. Close your eyes, close your eyes. Oh, gosh, okay. <laughs> oh, I love hey, it. But you know, hey, look. <laughs> hey. Mm. Mm. How sweet is that? I mean, it ain't real, but you know, that hey, that'll come okay. later on. You know what I'm saying? The gift that Mario has is a clay ring that he found in the store. I'm thinking this is so freaking creative, so thoughtful, and so beautiful. I promise, I mean, I, that ring, it, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna stand out to me forever. I think this is a beautiful moment. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> What's up, baby? Good to see you, brother. Good? You too. It's divine. How are you? All right. Gentlemen, that's our last run for us here at the Cigar Bar. You know that, huh? This is it. This is it. I hope they brought out the big glass. I hope so, too. We're going to need it tonight. <laughs> we are. We're going to need it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, before we get started, due to a, a medical emergency involving Darren's father, Darren has flown to Detroit. He can't be with us today. His father had a heart attack. Oh, my so God. his family is definitely in need of prayer. Right. Darren is very close to his dad. Yeah, so I'm hoping the best. We all yes, are. Yes, we yeah. are. Yeah. Yep. On a lighter note, we're here for one reason. One reason only. Three final couples that what? Make a commitment. But to get there, one more man has to be let go tonight. See, this is crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and to get there, one more of these ladies got to end their journey tonight. How y'all feeling right now? I feel good. We ready. Nervous. <laughs> Tandy, where are you and my man Mario? Mario and I are in a, a great space. We've been like that since day two. Are things a lot different now since Reva eliminated herself? They are different. Um, we both are moving different because this feels like a new journey for us now. It feels like regular dating now. Yeah, it does. I feel like we got the most genuine connection and we have shown it. I've always had her back. She's always had mine. My man can see. I mean, it just, we connected. How do you feel about you and Mario's compatibility? I feel like we we are opposite. Yeah. I'm more social. He's homebody. Uh, I like to have cocktails. He's an occasional drinker. And so I'm looking forward to the balance. Are you willing to make the balance? I am willing to make it. Okay. 
Shima. Yes. What's going on? It's you and Darren. Me and Darren are good. Yeah? We're better. We're better. We are. Do you think your communication with him since the dinner has improved? It has. We had a date after the dinner. He told me how he felt. I told him how I felt, and we got past it. So it happens. It gets the best of it. We all blow up. We all got tempers. Sometimes we can hold it and, and suppress it. Sometimes it's like, oh my God, like, what did I just do? Mm. Right. You know, and it happens. The thing is, is that can you fix the pieces after it's all over with? That's what you worked on doing, and you did it. Right. Alexis. Yes. Throughout the entire journey, there was Jimmy. Yeah, his humor pulled me in. There was a connection with Carrie. Yes, the sophistication. And, of course, London. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no elaboration. That's not no, no. Like we don't. And now there's Brent, and you think this is the true oh, yes. connection. Oh, yes. So Brent has been, for me, a breath of fresh air. OK. Following the mind matrix that I've been in with London, he's been refreshing. Are things looking upward with you and Alexis? Yeah, absolutely. We have a lot in common. Compatibility means a lot. It's been really all positive. I'm happy that she's chosen me over London because we both had multiple connections. That's out the window now. That's not important. It's all about me and her. So, Devon, what made you close the door on Brent? I think solidifying my connection with London more okay. and him solidifying it with me. London? Yes, sir. How's the conversation now with Devon? The conversation now with Devon, I mean, you got to rebuild. She's solid. She's going to be there for you. You know, you make a mistake, she's going to let you know that you made that mistake, and you got to figure out a way to, to make it up. And I think overall, she's open just because this is something completely different than the norm, right? And that's looking upward? Correct, yes, sir. As far as Divine and I, she's my right now, and she's my future. I'm really looking forward to being with Divine to really see how we develop and how we grow together. Throughout the journey, it's been up and down, up and down, up That's and down. That's what the journey is. Yeah, but at that point of the time we had our date, you know, I knew. All right. Everybody feeling good about their connections, huh? Yes, sir. Four ladies, four guys. Somebody got to go. Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> Out of the four, who's got the weakest connection? I say Alexis and Brent. <laughs> London? Man, no shade, but just knowing the connection that I had with Alexis up into the cabin, to flip a switch like that, it's kind of disturbing. For them both to choose us definitely did not make sense to me. There might have been some shade thrown, might have been a little, little bit of hate. Considering Alexis has been in my top for a long time. I'll ask you something, Sheila. Okay. You wanted to make sure you were in the top three couples. Mm -hmm. Which couple would you say should not be? Damn! <laughs> oh, wow. Scandal. I mean, just. That's don't, crazy. Somebody uh, protect uh, my car. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want the tires to get slashed at the end of this. Oh. <laughs> and as much as I love London, I think London playing. I don't think he is. I really don't. I feel like London is just, um, yeah, no. He's not ready to love. When it comes to London, I definitely think that he's been playing the both of us. It's starting to feel like he's moving around like a shyster. His words to me have always been, protect our bubble. This is our story. You know, don't let anyone interfere with that. And he would always say, well, if you're not a part of this journey, I no longer want to be a part of it. I have no reason to be here if you're not here. When it comes to Divine, he waters the situation down completely. So he's always said to me, I mean, she's great, but I would like to date a woman who doesn't have children. Devon has children. I don't like Devon because Devon is too aggressive. So I love that you don't make it easy for me. Let me ask this question, Devon. Mm -hmm. Is what uh, Alexis is saying, does it sound like the London that you know? No, it doesn't. He's never told me that I was aggressive because I'm not aggressive. And the one thing is, like you said, he told you that what he liked about me was that I wasn't aggressive. So things aren't, things aren't adding up. My conversations with him, they've been light, fun. I've always seen him as a positive person. Didn't really done anything that really turned me off. And again, my experience with him is gonna be completely different. Are we in a good place? We're in a very good place. Okay. But do you Who fault him for throwing you under the bus and talking about you? I don't know that to be fact. I remember when you mentioned several 
several wine bars ago that I think this was on his birthday and you hosted a birthday dinner for him at your home. Mm -hmm. And you asked him, you said, hey, I know that you have a connection with Alexis. Mm -hmm. So I think I remember you mentioning that he chose. You asked him to choose. We had a conversation about that. When I left here, I was very, very angry. So I asked him about it and he said, well, you know what? She's lying. I would never say anything like that. Wow. That's ridiculous. Wow. I'll prove it to you. Mm. I said, how are you gonna prove it to me? Next thing you know, he's calling you on three-way. And so when, when <laughs> let's, let's back up. When he makes this three-way call, he's talking to Divine, and you're on the line. Mm -hmm. Does Divine know that you're on the line? She does not. She does not. Oh, my gosh. Next thing you know, he's calling you on three-way. And so when, when, <laughs> let's, let's back up. When he makes this three-way call, mm -hmm. He's talking to Divine, and you're on the line. Mm -hmm. Does Divine know that you're on the line? She does not. She does not. Oh, my gosh. So when Alexis mentioned the three-way conversation, I knew that that was a lie. The fact that she would partake in something like that, that's something I believe. But do I believe that the three-way conversation actually happened? No, London is not childish, and he is not messy when it comes to things like that. So I didn't believe it. Let me take a sip on that. So, That's crazy. Let's, let's, do, let's do five seconds real quick. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's some crazy stuff. You were very quiet in the beginning. And you said on the phone, no, you haven't. You haven't chosen. I know that, you, you know, basically you were backtracking. Oh I said that with him on the phone? Yes. Mm, I don't remember that. But yeah, you lied because you, you no, said I on the phone. No, I did not lie. If they say, OK, London, pick one person you want to ride off in the sunset with, who is mm. that going to be? Of course it would be you. Okay. I mean, why would you even question that? I was on the phone. Okay, what I'm he saying is... you it, up. It doesn't add up. No, so I, I don't. I have every so, but anyway, reason to I'm, make anyway. it up. I don't even How know you to trust you. I don't even know you How to trust you. How else would I know that I don't conversation? Know Are you, you that trust dissy? you? Girl, you need, you need to get over Clearly. your pain. Because you're hurt. Fake. I can't You're hurt. But you just, don't remember that conversation? No. Something's not made of sense. You know? Let me let me step in. Alexis. Do you think it's childish to be a part of a three-way that, that you're, 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 you're quiet? And... Absolutely. I wouldn't have so, even partook so in it. I actually felt bad for participating in that. And so during this process, though, I've always said I have to come forward with, with the truth. I've been trying to protect Devon's feelings. First of all, you're not my protector. Let's be clear on that. The only, clearly, person, I can, clearly, the only person I can protect clearly. my feelings are myself. We if I'm going to protect someone, mm -hmm. I'm not going to wait to the end of the journey at the wine bar and, and, and say this and just say, what else, I was trying what else, to I protect you. To you might see him one way, I might see him another way. OK, we're cut from he two different have... cloths. Clearly. <laughs> but at the end of the day, he and I are rock solid. You're rock solid because I pulled out. First of all, let me take a sip on that. Take, because... well, take your time. Take your time. Me and him are not rock solid because of you. So let's be clear on that right now. Because first of all, I pulled out. I pulled out and I said, you need to swing it that way. And then that's when he came to me. He said, I'm done with her because I pulled out. Now, if I was still interested not, in London, know, he would still be on the fence Absolutely with his big not. ass on, hanging Absolutely on for dear not. life on the fence. <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> if that was the case, when I pulled out, then he would have had the green light to come after you. He chose to come to me. So if that was the case, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't have fallen how it fall. In hindsight, you two may be great for each other because I'm seeing like a lot of things in you that I'm seeing in London mm -hmm. uh, because you're not being honest. How am I not being honest? Because you're not. Girl, bye. What do you mean, girl, okay, bye? Okay, let me, uh, girl, bye, because I'm being very honest. How are you going to tell me I'm not desperate. being honest? <laughs> you look desperate. I look we'll leave, desperate. We'll leave girl, it at that. Please. Girl, three weeks ago, you, didn't, you couldn't even pronounce Brent's name. Please. You were calling him Brent. Brent? Yes. Really? So now, pff, he's your fallback guy. He's your fallback guy because London don't want you. Ooh. Let's just say what it is. He's your fallback guy because London don't want you. I, I gave London the green I have receipts. Light. I don't so care what you have. You don't want to make care. yourself look even worse than you, you look have. right now. No, and you don't want to look because as stupid I can pull as you're up my looking phone at. And I can show pull you. It up. You can pull up don't whatever. You can put it on the big screen. Bottom line is, Tommy, I'm good. He and I are good. And we are solid because of no other chick. We're solid because we're solid. If, if everyone says that they are solid with whom they have, then I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> wow, man. Oh.
Here, untie my boxing gloves, please. <laughs> Girl, please, you wish. You would get dragged in this mother. What? So you would get dragged in this mother. Girl, who's gonna get dragged? Check off your boxing gloves. I'm talking about for fighting in this journey. What the hell you talking about talking about boxing you? Girl, bye, that's not even my style. Trust me, she don't want this smoke, Tommy. I want it. 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 You don't want this smoke. Trust me. I want it. I want all of it. Next time on the season finale of Ready to Love. If your connection is so true with Brent, that should be your focus. But no, your focus is London and I. I'm not going to embark on this journey moving forward. I'm feeling the energy a little bit different right now. I'm not going to be looking crazy in these streets, you know, for nobody. It's unfortunate that Darren's not here in the last week. I know. I miss him. Have you found a soulmate? When you're in a relationship with someone, the realest test of them all is meeting someone's family. <laughs> Have you seen that dark side of him? And be yelling. We're about to find out if our final couples are truly ready to love. <laughs> <laughs>